The disciples went to Galilee to the place on the mountain where Jesus first selected them to be his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus appeared and they all worshiped him. Jesus said, I give you the authority to preach. Therefore, go to the nations and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them what I have taught you. And always remember, I am with you. For 40 days after his resurrection, Jesus spent time with the disciples, teaching them about the kingdom of God. He appeared to many others as well. Uh, one time a crowd as large as 500. But after that time, he took his disciples to the Mount of Olives. He said, Stay in Jerusalem till the promise of the Father comes to you. John baptized with water, but I'm, by, but I'm baptizing you with the Holy Spirit. They said, uh, Lord, uh, is this the time that you're going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Only the Father knows when that time will be. In the meanwhile, spread the good news that people can have the forgiveness of sins. But wait in Jerusalem until you receive the Holy Spirit. He will give you the power to spread the good news. Start in Jerusalem and then go throughout the entire nation. Don't leave out Samaria and then go to the entire world. At that point, Jesus blessed them. And as he did, he started moving up into the air. Disciples watched until he disappeared in a cloud. At that point, two men dressed in white stood next to them. They said, why are you looking up into the sky? You saw Jesus go up. He'll come back the same way. The disciples went back to Jerusalem, their heart filled with joy. They went to the upper room to meet with the other believers, both men and women. Uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus, was also there as well as his brothers. They were all of one mind and spent that time in prayer. At one point, Peter stood up to speak to the group. He said, Judas fulfilled scripture when he led that mob into the garden to betray the Lord. Judas was one of us and had all the privileges of this, of this ministry. But he sold it all for a price. Money that was spent to buy a field that today is called the field of blood. Still, we need to replace him as one of the apostles. We need to select a man, but make sure that he's been with us ever since Jesus was baptized by John. He also has to have seen the miracles right up to when Jesus was taken back into heaven. Then he can testify with us of the resurrection of Christ. Two men were selected for the final consideration. The group prayed together and then cast lots. And Matthias was chosen. <laughs>